or there's anything that you would want to talk about with Russia and Russia gate just to, I know that's oh, supposed that's, to be past news, right? But, um, Oh, it's never, it's never going away. Russia is never going away because that's, that's the one thing we can blame all our mistakes and stupid things we do. Um, you know, but another racist, xenophobic scapegoat. And I say racist because it is racist, anti-Slav. It's, I mean, it's, it's a long story, but people should know that the anti-Slav bigotry and racism is, is centuries old and, you know, from Western Europe and, and Hitler's Germany and World War II and the Lebensraum and uh, calling them, uh, calling them subhuman in order to justify invading their country like we justified killing uh, Native Americans for our farmland. And that's what he learned from, by the way. He was a, Hitler was a big fan of uh, uh, pioneer novels and Western novels and uh, our, our uh, immigration laws, race, racist immigration laws. And so it's, it's all part of that. You know, we, we have a scapegoat. We have uh, a race of Slavs who who were treated like criminals when they uh, came to parts of uh, of Canada in the nineteen late late nineteenth early twentieth century, and they even put in uh, concentration camps and had all their possessions taken away from them and their rights and their freedom for from 1918 to around 19, after 1920. And it was merely based because they were from Ukraine and, and Slavs and, and thought of as, uh, you know, Jewish Bolsheviks. And, and that, that's the ironic thing is that, uh, that people don't understand there's a lot of anti-Semitism in the anti-Russia uh, sentiment. And in addition to that, homophobia and the, the homophobic memes of, of Donald Trump and, and Putin, everything is excused, you know, on the left when it comes to uh, uh, bashing their enemies. Yeah, I know it's like they like they have carte blanche to do it, but how dare anybody do that to us? But we can do whatever we want. Um, right. Seems, you know, the whole and, Steve Colbert cock holster uh, remark yeah. when he talked about Putin and and Trump, and it's like, what in the hell are you talking about? You know, and yeah, exactly. And people calling uh, Kevin McCarthy, Kevin McCarthy, uh, Moscow uh, or Kremlin, Kevin. What is that supposed to, what, why Moscow are you even doing, Moscow Mitch? It's like, it, it's just, what are you talking like, about? What, I mean, that's not, you talk about being the unity party. Well, that's not creating unity. That's creating no. division. You know, just yeah. like with the Russia story, you know, is that, you know, Russia has a rich history, right? Even the USSR was a republic like the United States because it's in the title, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it was only so it was socialist, not communist. That's also in the title. They their goal was to get to communism. That's not ever been reached in this country, in, in this world, I should say. No, you know, yet pure communism literally means that, you know, the community, you know, helping each other, you know, focusing on the community, having a society like that. That's never happened. So that might have been the so-called goal. That might be the goal of China. That might be, you know, whatever. Uh, still with Russia or any socialist country, but we're not there yet. That hasn't happened. Right? No, and and absolutely in the case not. of Cuba, you know, there's been the blockade. So they, you know, how are you going to get there if you're blockaded by you know the number one military power in the world? You're not. Yeah. You're obviously going to have problems, no matter what system that you you choose for your for your country. So, yeah, I mean, the biggest the biggest most powerful army in the world is at basically at war with you through right. sanct sanctions and blockades that's those are act of acts of war it's like we do so many countries around the world democracies democracies that we overthrow and install friendly dictatorships and we pretend to be uh freedom loving 
and, yes. and democracy loving. It's, exactly. And and we criticize, we bash Russia for uh, wanting to get rid of NATO, which is basically threatening and surrounding its borders and has been since the end of World War II when they were invaded for the second time and had millions of their uh, citizens killed by Germany and in invading armies. Like, what the f- it's just a, it's, it's an utter ridiculous mind f- that these I people know. are doing. I know. And it's, it's, and we have to have these conversations, you know, more and more. So I really appreciate that you're, you're, uh, you come on the show to, to, to do some of that. It's great. 